Hey my little stars and planets, it's me Chibi Saturn here and welcome back uh, to Raft. Uh, as you can see, I actually have a construction helmet on and that's because I went back inside Varuna Point and I got the notes that I was missing. Pretty sure those were the only notes that I had missed, right? These ones here. Um, and I also found a construction hat, which I almost missed. It was very close to missing because I, I did the whole thing once over just to see if I could find any caches or anything like that. And I found the hat and I found these two notes, which I'm going to let you guys listen to. We don't work on new floors anymore. Everyone is scared of the grabber. There's talk about leaving before the water gets even higher. Leaving for that other construction project. The one taken over by rafters. They call it Utopia. <laughs> the only Utopia I need is right here. I started to secure the tower. As long as I live, no one will claim my treasure. No one will reach my nest. Yeah, so that explains all the trap that we went through. And then this one, as I was stating, like, oh... I, I want to know what happens to Dedo and Ruben. Well, here's they that note. Come by. They don't stay for long. Why? Well, probably because I keep stealing their stuff. Today, it was a man named Ruben and a boy named Dedo. They were caught in a storm and needed supplies. When they fell asleep, I nicked a whole set of tools. <laughs> Crude stuff, but still good. In the morning, they were so freaked out, they sailed away immediately. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. So, Ruben and Dedo, they're still out there, they, and they did stop by, but I'm pretty sure the the distress call from the radio towers, that was probably Bruno. Um, but yeah, and with the Dedo note, I actually came across a blueprint that I almost missed, which was a uh, headlamp. Yeah, the electric grill. The electric grill. So we have the blueprints for electric grill. Uh, did I research all this stuff yet? No, I did not. Booyah. So now, um, I'm gonna update our grills. Uh, actually, before I build anything, uh, I'm gonna build all of that, but- Oh, right! <laughs> this! I almost totally forgot about this. So, that- that shark rhino trophy that we got for defeating the boss, it's the whole shark. It's- the whole shark. I thought it was a head, like these ones, so I can mount it on the wall. No, I was dead ass wrong. It's the whole ass shark. It's the whole ass shark, and I love it. And like, I was trying to figure out ways of displaying it, and in my opinion, this is the best way, I think. I don't know, man, but I like it, because it, you know, whatever. The other ways looked a little weird to me, but um, this looks natural, sort of. But look at this thing. Is, we killed that. We killed that thing. Okay. Uh, so before we build anything, did I put in the coordinates for temperance? Uh, nine one two six. No, I did not. Okay. So six. There we go. Uh. Okay, it's that way. I want to set us on the course for temperance before I start building things, because the building stuff is not going to take that long. Okay, with our course set. Uh, let us begin. Uh, what do we need? What do we need for this stuff? Uh, electric grill. We'll make two electric grills. So, we're going to need 12 titanium. Eight pieces of wood. Aha! But, for those grills, I'm assuming electric. So, yeah. So, we're probably going to need to make batteries. Batteries. So, back in here. Voila! Batteries. Now we can replace these cruddy old grills with electric ones. I just hope they fit in the same spot. And... Oh, that's one of the old grills. My bad. My beat. This is one of the electric ones. Ooh! Fancy! Might put that a little too close to the wall, but we can adjust later. There we go. And then battery and battery. I'm assuming the battery, the advanced battery, lasts twice as long as the normal battery. Um, 
I'm wondering how much we can cook on here. Hold on. I cooked up all the shark meat already. I probably should have saved that. Uh, you know what? We could cook up some of this shark meat just to see how much we can cook on these grills. Ooh, yeah, I suspect it as soon as I saw the top grill. So we can cook six pieces of meat. Oh, okay, well that does make me curious. Hold on. That makes me curious because catfish. How many catfish can we cook on here? I'm assuming just two. Yeah, okay. Because catfish kind of take up like two cooking slots. Okay, next I want to try out this wind turbine. Like, we already have the battery charger here that's hooked up to uh, our whole system, but I mean, it couldn't hurt to check this out. So, oh, we're gonna have to make four freaking circuit boards. God damn it. Okay, with four circuit boards, we just need four titanium and then a whole stack of wood. Ooh, wow, this thing's big. Okay, well, I mean, it's a wind turbine. So we'll put the, uh, where are we gonna put this? Do we fit it up? No, we fit it up here. Maybe, maybe the higher the better. Wait, maybe I can rotate it so that it fits right here in this corner. Boom. Oh, it turns. It, wait, is that? Oh, the wind's blowing. Oh, okay. So, okay. So it faces the direction of the wind. So four battery slots. I want, though I'm wondering, since this seems to be powered by the wind, so it doesn't take any of the, doesn't take any of our biofuel, but I'm assuming it might be slower than the biofuel charger. Cause like we can charge four and for like no resources at all. It charges it for free. So it's gotta have some drawback, right? Okay, while we're at it, I'm going to make this advanced headlight. I don't know how advanced it is. I guess that's pretty advanced. I don't know, I don't normally use the the normal headlight, but I guess we'll keep that on us. Because they're giving it to us, so we might need it for the next area. Um, and then we got four things. The wind turbine, the grill, the advanced, on the battery. Yeah, so that's everything. Wait, is that... Hold on. Are we here? I see something in the distance, I think. Yeah, I do. What? What is that? Okay. What is that? Hold on. It's, it's, it's nighttime. Let me sleep real quick. Is that, is that flat land? What is that? I need to get higher. What is that? Hold on. Is that, oh, oh, is that an iceberg? Ooh, wait. Oh my. I guess we better not crash. Try to turn us this way. Uh. Well, this is new. Well, then again, I guess Caravan Town was sort of desert biome. I guess it makes sense that we get an ice biome. What was that? Oh, that's just an island in the corner of my eye. Okay. Well, I hope this narrow corridor is wide enough for my ship. Kind of cutting it close here. No, no, I think, okay, we have enough space. We have enough space. Uh, how close are we though? Pretty close. 500. Oh, what is that? Oh. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, check the, the sides of the screen because I'm trying to because you can see more in the corner of your eye for some reason. Like, see, like, look, if I look straight ahead, all I can see is the silhouette. But then if I look at the corner of my eye, I can see a lot more detail. 
Oh, there goes the seagulls. Are they just flying around or are they flying away? Well, it looks like I've made it here to Temperance. And it seems like an iceberg. That's interesting. Well, what was that? Hold on. What's that? You see that in the corner, in the right corner? Over in that way. What the fuck is happening? Well, I mean, we're here. We made it. I was going to build a couple of batteries before we left. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to build a couple of batteries to replace some of these batteries. Because, I mean, we have advanced batteries now. So we might as well... Or we can make advanced batteries. So we might as well build a couple. Whatever. Anyways, I was going to make more advanced batteries. But you know what? I just made an advanced battery for this. And an advanced battery for this. That way, my animals are well fed while I'm gone. Before we leave, though, let's grab some tools. I don't know what we're going to need. So I'm just going to bring an axe just in case. I'm going to bring an extra, extra spear. I don't know, like, what should we bring? Should we bring a shovel and the metal detector? Let's bring that. Let's we'll bring that just in case. Okay. Actually, do I need to bring my hook? Nah, whatever. Ooh. Do I slide? Ooh, is there ice physics? A little bit. Not a lot. And a little bit, not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna head this way because in the corner of my eye, I see that right there. So, I'm gonna head that way. Oh, there's a tower there. Go ahead for the tower first, I guess. You can see it now. I wonder if that's Celine. Because maybe this area, this iceberg, is called Temperance. Am I in the snow? Okay. I was just checking. I thought I'd sunk into the snow. Um, but maybe Celine is the is the base over there. Maybe that's what Celine is. Well, there's gotta be something here. Ooh. Hold to pick up electric cable. Hold E. Oh. Wait, what? Okay. I got two electric cables. I guess I'm gonna need electric cables for something. There's a flag down there, but there's something up here. Or it looks like there's something up here. And you can kinda you can kinda make out the silhouette of whatever the hell that ooh. Okay, well hello. Well there's another tower there, but you can make out the silhouette of those things I saw. Hmm, this place is kind of pretty. And there's trees. So this is a landmass. This isn't just one big ice. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, good thing I brought up a backup backup spear. Looks like we got some polar bears. Hey, Mr. Polar. Oh, hoo -hoo. Ooh, don't jump at me. Don't jump at me. Yeah, yeah. You, you like that? Oh, come on now. No. Come on. Die already. Die. Die. Yeah! We killed our first polar bear! Victory is mine. Oh yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd get a polar bear head. Sweet, we could add that to our collection. Uh, guess I'm take uh, the thing from here. Now, I would head for over there, but I did see another tower. Should I head? No. Because I'm... I, I, I saw another one of these towers over that way. So if I if I need the electric cables to go over there, I might as well just go get them now and then go over there. I don't know, but we're collecting cables now. So we might as well round them up now so we don't have to round them up later. Okay. What? What? Oh, <gasps> yo, what? No way. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Oh, okay, this kind of handles like ass, but oh my god. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. How do I get off? How do I get off? Get off, get off. Okay. And E to pick up cable. Yeah. Looks like another base here. Okay. Danger, high. What is this? Start dragging cable. Oh. 
Oh. Um, do I drag it over here? Okay. Okay, I can remove that. Um, but why would I do that? So I'm, that, that, that's a zipline cable. Start dragging cable. Well, what's the point of this? What is this? Can I bring this over here? Oh, oh, I'm using my cables. To, okay. Okay, so I use them over here then. But my question is, do I just connect everything? Do I just connect everything to this? Like, what am I, like... Okay, so I know, like, what I'm supposed to be doing, dragging these cables. Do I just connect everything to everything? Or is there... Oh! Wait. I saw that. From a certain angle, it looked pretty... Oh, that looks so pretty. That looks so pretty. Okay. Um... Okay, this is too far for that. Um... Then maybe I connect this one to over here. Because I see this. Okay. Oh, am I out of cables? It seems I'm out of cables. Okay, so I need to go... I've, I've connected everything I could, but then there's that. And then there's this. And there's oh, that. And I'm not even sure if I'm, like, connecting them right, because there's no... What's this? Oh, no! Leto showed me and Henry some abandoned igloos. The boy got them open by fiddling with some cables. The big igloo is still shut, though. I wonder Bruno? what's inside. Leto introduced me to a man named Ruben. Oh! He was hurt. Looked like wounds from a bear attack. Aww. So I helped fix up the wounds. Astrid used to fix up my wounds the same way. Where are you, sis? Okay. So I'm thinking, because I didn't see this before, it says danger um, electricity. So I'm, I'm assuming this is where I begin, but I do need more cables. So I'm going to take this bad boy out and we're going to, oh, we're going to go get some. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, there's a tower right there. Shit. This thing... Oh! Okay, now... Let's take that. Okay, and we will take you. So, that note, that was... That was Bruno talking about Deno and Ruben. So the the three of them met up here. That's great. That's awesome. Oh, fudge. Oh, I see another tower over here. Oh, holy shit. Okay, off. Oh, it just keeps going without me. <laughs> that is dangerous. That is dangerous. I've driven an actual snowmobile and driving an actual snowmobile is actually much easier than <laughs> driving this thing. Okay, hold on. There's another tower right here and another bear. Well, great. Well, come at me, Mr. Bear. There we go. Is there anything over here? Another snowmobile. And whatever that is, hello. Whoa! the shit out of me okay so there's no going back up I have to I have to I guess there's only only way to go is down I'm gonna put this on for good measure oh anglerfish seriously okay you know what I'm just gonna ignore it I don't have I don't have time because I don't see any pockets of air so I am just gonna pay them no mind. Oh, air. Yes, please. Is 
Well, I didn't... Man, that scared the shit out of me. I, I hate this fucking game. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this fucking game so much. <laughs> it's so mean. Bro, I just... Ooh. Ooh. I just... I saw something in the distance. I saw this big, gorgeous, like, fucking mansion in the distance. And all of a sudden, cave in. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair at all. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die. What is that? Added note. Okay. Three of four. Okay. Uh. There's bears all over this frozen island. One of them completely Ooh. wrecked the boat when we tried to get away. None of the usual tricks worked either. Henry and I would have been eaten if that boy with the air horn hadn't showed up. His name is Deto. Says he came here with some survivors. I asked Henry if I should trust the boy. But I didn't get an answer. Ooh. Is that, is that Bruno getting healthier? Because I'm pretty sure Henry is one of his... Isn't one of his imaginary children? And what's this? Two of four. The grumpy face. So Bruno came here, and then he met Deto and Ruben by association. But in the note, he said with some survivors. Survivors, plural. So it wasn't just Deto and Ruben alone? Or maybe when he said survivors, he was just talking about Ruben. Ooh. What's this? What is this? Oh, it's a giant ass telescope. That's what it is. Okay, I'm... Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. It's probably some sort of code. These are probably... Because there's probably... Okay, that... I don't know what that looks like. That looks like a crown. That... I don't know. Okay, I thought that we might see some constellations, like, the pictures that we've been getting. To the spear. Is there... Okay. Oh. The anchor. Oh, that's what we saw. Eight. The anchor is eight. Okay. So... Uh, I don't have enough information. Like, I'm pretty sure this has something to do with the code. Because there's something over here that needs a code. So, the anchor is A, and the spear is 2. Ooh, there's a ladder that goes up. Okay, um... The seagull is nothing. The shark is nothing. Hell... Oh! Wait, does that say Henry? Is this Henry? Oh! No. The boat is ready to go. Deto is ready with the air horn, and Ruben can at least walk. Henry is staying behind. It's bittersweet. He doesn't speak with me anymore, but I think it's safer for someone to stay behind. Deto says there's a place with lots of people. Ruben says Astrid might be there. She definitely isn't here in this cold place. It's nice talking to people. Oh, Bruno, that warms my heart. Seeing he's getting better. Okay, well. Okay, well. This has something to do with it. Oh, wait, that. This. This is that shape. It's, um. No. This, that thing. So that's two of four. Okay. Um. Wait. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that eight is for the stars. This, and two for the stars. Okay, so the number of stars in the constellation is a number. And these notes, two, three, four. So the number of constellations. But then what? what is number one? Uh, let me look around. Maybe I missed 
number one. Nope, not here. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, uh, okay, there we go. Okay, so what's the... What's the first... Okay, so a weird... Oh, it's a... It's a... Clucker. The clucker. So we have to find the clucker constellation. Oh, is that the hook? Is that the hook? Hold on. Yeah, it's the hook. So that has, from the looks of it, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six. Okay. That looks like the clucker. That does look like the clucker. So one, two, three, four, five. And the last one is a sailboat or a raft. That's the, oh, wait, I just realized it's a puffer fish. That weird face looking thing is a puffer fish. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm such an idiot. One, two, three, four. So it's four. So it's five, nine, six, four, five, nine, six, four, five, nine, six. Yeah. Celine key. Yeah, I told you, Celine. What did we get? Wait, stationary anchor? Oh, no, that's not the right button. Or maybe it is. Um, we'll take these. Advanced stationary anchor. Okay, so that is a new type of anchor. All right. Um, all right. So we got the Celine key, and we got. So we are at Celine then I'm assuming or we'll we'll be at Celine when we use this key I guess so Celine is here so we're definitely near Celine okay, gotta make sure I don't fall down that crap hole okie dokie okie dokie then okay we made it we made it we made it get me off this hell thing oh god like I'm sorry that handles like ass but it's so much fun to ride okay so let's get back to what we were doing. So I'm assuming that is what's gonna power power things up. So if I, yeah, electricity. And now we take this and, oh, fuck me, I gotta eat. We'll try to figure out this puzzle and then we'll head back to the raft. Okay, and Aha! So, an exercise room, eh? Ooh, coconut. Coconuts have liquid in them. That'll raise my liquid. Water. Okay. Is that it? Is this just a fitness room? Very, very uh, good of you to have fitness. Uh, can we take this anywhere? Can we take this over here? Yeah! And that powers a lot because I've already connected a few things. Actually, does this power everything? That I think I connected a lot to a lot. Oh, my inventory is almost full. Ooh, good. Yes, drink that. That'll bring up my water even more. I guess we're gonna find some vending machines soon because we're getting a lot of vending machine to Okay, I don't need a I don't need a fishing rod. TBH, don't need that, and I don't need stone arrows either. I don't need that. I don't need that. Don't need that. Gotta be a little bit more selective. Uh, I got enough food. Gonna eat that. Okay, this just looks like someone's living quarters. Okay. And I already connected a few things. Can I connect this to this over here? I don't think I can. I think it's too far away. Yeah, it's too far away. Can I connect it to... No, <laughs> that's way too far away. Um, Okay, before we figure that out, let me at least go in here, because I opened this place up as well. Okay. Some nice stuff. Some tokens. Another living quarters. Any notes? Nothing. Okay, then. That and that, I think, are too far away from each other, but we can give it a shot. Unless there's something over here I can connect it to. No? Okay, then. 
Okay, and oh, oh, it reaches. Oh, sweet. Okay, so then that should power everything or everything it can connect to, anyways. Ah, no. That kid Detto is really smart. Using material we salvaged, he was able to fix up my boat. Ruben is recovering too, but uh, uh, he doesn't seem to want to talk to me a lot. Both of them stare whenever I talk to Henry. Henry doesn't like the way they look at us. I think I need to do something. Okay. Well, they probably just think you're a little crazy, Bruno, buddy. You're talking to an inanimate object. And the reason I dumped that hook is because I have two hooks in my inventory. I don't need a third hook. But I am taking all this medical stuff because I'm guessing I might need it. Because, I mean, in the last area, we had a boss fight with a freaking rhino shark, of all things. So, I wouldn't put put it past them to put another boss fight at Celine. Okay. Stuff in here. Okay. More stuff, more stuff, more plastic. Is that it? No, nope, there's stuff over here. Okay, on to the next building. Okay, I think this is it. Uh, simple smoothie, we got that recipe. What is that? Ooh, a silver smoothie. Sweet. Because, as I said before, my... My canteen doesn't really have that much liquid left in it, so... Ooh! Ooh! Okay, so I can... Oh, I can buy some stuff for the raft. I don't have any inventory space. Do I have the mushroom? I don't... Oh, I don't know if I have the mushroom omelette back at the raft. Actually, I think we do have the mushroom omelette recipe at the raft. Ooh, more pitchers. Ooh, and some more plants. Nice. Okay, well, we definitely... Let's check out this place, and we'll head and drop off our stuff at the raft. Oh, I don't need a net. I have a net at home. Uh, anything? Like, any notes or anything? There's gotta be a reason why. Oh, okay, that's our reason why. Advanced biofuel refinery. Ooh. Fancy. Take that. Thank you very much. Is that it? Is that the only important piece of stuff here? Is that why we went through all that trouble collecting wires for just blueprints? That's it? Okie dokie then. Well, we already have the key to Celine, and I'm guessing that's all we need to move forward. But, um, yeah, let's head on over to the raft real quick and dump all of our stuff. Okay, with all that done, uh, we'll head back and... Well, I mean, we're not going to head back to um, that campsite. We're just going to head on over to what I can only assume is Celine. The stuff over there that has been shining in the distance. We're just going to head right on over there. Because I'm pretty sure we don't need anything else. Because we got this. We, we opened everything back up at that campsite. Jesus. And uh, we got the Celine key. So, um, fuck. I'm just let this hit the ground. This thing does not handle well. But that means I can't control it very well. Because, <laughs> like, even if you move just slightly, it'll, like, go all over the place. Well, that's one way to stop. I got another snowmobile, just in case. Aw, oh, man. The Celine Research Facility. Oh, man. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I just... Requires a... Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me. A what? A blowtorch. A blowtorch. Of course. It can't be that simple. It can't be as simple as waltzing up with the goddamn key and using said key. There's gotta be a catch. Well... Why do I find a blowtorch? I guess they can try zooming around looking for any place that might have a blowtorch. Oh, wait, what is that? 
Yeah, you walk away. Oh, no. Well, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, leave me alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't see this before. I stopped to check because I, I thought maybe... I thought this was... Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I stopped because I was, I was going to check the, um, the caches where the snowmobiles are kept. You know, all those... Oh, come on. All those places where the... All the... Uh, I can't speak. All the places where there are snowmobiles, I was going to start checking those. Because maybe one of them has something. And I thought that was one of them, but then I saw the staircase. So, yeah. Come on now. Give me its food. Or not food, but give me its resources. And we're not that far. Like, Selene is literally right over there, but this is radioactive. It's radioactive. Or, uh, that's what I'm... Eh. Owie! Owie! Okay, it's... Okay, it's radioactive everywhere. I thought maybe I could... I thought maybe I could jump above it. Because, like, you can see it. You can see it like a green mist. But it's like at hip level, right? Okay, we're just gonna make a run for it. Uh, uh, okay, definitely gonna need this healing cell. Okay, what is in here making it so radioactive? Well, okay, I guess we'll come back or not at all. I don't know, like, it looked like a dead end. I didn't see anything. Okay, let's check over here. I'm trying to follow this pathway, because you can see, like, uh, like, like this snow is darker than that snow. So I'm trying to follow the darker snow and seeing if it leads me anywhere. Yeah, these things. I thought that place was one of these things. Okay, but that is empty, because that's, that's the one I got this one from. So we're back over here. So we, I need to explore over here. If it's not here, then I don't know, man. I've looked ev like almost everywhere. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Right. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. is right there. I didn't see it because it looks like a bottle on first glance. For a second there, I thought it was just a bottle. And it's the blowtorch. So that was the point because I, I was thinking it has to be here. If it's not there, I don't know where it is because I, I looked in that radioactive zone. I looked in the radioactive zone and like I couldn't find a, a damn... Oh, actually I'm going the wrong way. I couldn't find anything in there. Which makes you wonder, why is there even a fucking radioactive zone in the first place? But, I don't know, man. We found it. That's all that matters. We found it. Now we get to go to Celine. But, our time is up. So, we're gonna have to end the video here. But, in the next video, we will be heading inside Celine. First... Well, I'm just gonna come here, just so I can end the video here. Right? Okay. Well, we're out of time for this recording session. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the other side of Celine. Bye!